Today's vlog is all about this little girl, this little silly goose, Angie. Angie is a little over a year and a half now, and I thought it'd be fun to give an update on Angie, her personality, because it is big. It is very big. She is pretty much in charge of all of us. One of the first things I want to talk about is this little girl loves to dance. It is her favorite thing ever. So we just discovered this DJ Rafi, I think it's Rafi, the other night, but she is obsessed obsessed with the Wednesday song. You know, the Wednesday dance from the Netflix series. I'm gonna put on this and just wait till you see just when it pulls up on YouTube, how excited she gets. TikTok trying to do the Wednesday dance, but I don't think they have anything on Angie. She's really, she's really nailed it. I just love it. She is so just, she hears music, she hears what she likes, and she is up and dancing, and Layla will join in sometimes, but Layla, Angie kind of steals the show. She yeah. is really into it. And she even, like this part, when it slows down, she'll take her little break. There we go again. This is her absolute favorite. She has a lot she likes, but this one's her favorite. This is just the first little tidbit about her. I'm gonna be sprinkling a lot of fun things about Angie all day today. Just so you all get to know her a little bit better, because she, like I said, she has a very big personality. She's really fun, and this is a super fun age right now. Another thing Angie absolutely loves, whether it's being pushed in the stroller or walking herself, is just being outside and going for walks. She's always going outside, outside, and wanting to go outside and go for walks. And we live by a lot of things, so we get out often, tons of parks, and that's what we're doing this morning. Layla is still not home. She actually slept over at my parents' house last night, so it's just Angie and I for a little bit. And we're just gonna go for a little stroll, enjoy some of this nice morning air. One of her favorite things to do on walk is jump off the curbs. Not a big curb, a little curb. But to her, they're big. It's a big achievement. <laughs> Going for walks is actually one of my favorite part of the day too. I love, because it just kind of slows you down. I love just seeing everything through her eyes, just a flower, a bug on the ground. Things like that are so amazing and so wonderful to her. And it just really makes you appreciate things. I love doing this with Layla when she was this age and it's so fun to do it again with little, little Miss Angie. Yep, she would spend all day outside if she could and I love that. Another thing Angie is obsessed with is the bounce house, especially the slide part. And it's very exhausting for me because she can't make it up, so that's my job. I have to put her up, she slides down, I put her up. She's heavy, she is not a light baby. <laughs> is back home or inside just taking a little break because we were out for a while. Layla, she absolutely loves her sister. They are always together. She always follows Layla. They sit up on the sofa a lot together when they watch their shows or eat snacks. Normally, when they're up on the sofa together, Angie is right up against Layla all the time. She wants to be as close as she can to her to snuggle under the blanket, but it's so cute. And they play together, they'll dance together, and she just adores her big sissy. And I love that. Also, notice what she's drinking from right there? She's obsessed with bottles. And I know, she's 19 months old, we need to get her off the bottles. I don't know if it's a comfort thing, because she doesn't have a pacifier, and she never has and never will. The bottle has been something like super comforting to her. And so we've had to like start kind of watering down the milk so she's not getting so much milk during the day. She's only supposed to have about 16 ounces at this age, but she always wants her bottle. Layla, when she always screams, she's always, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> and last night, Okay, I feel like we're back in the newborn stage. Layla, last night she woke up twice yelling for her bot. 
twice yelling for a bottle at nighttime. It's like, I don't know what's going on. I, I know this is just a phase, I and mean, I know we'll get out of it. It's kind of frustrating right now because she just wants a bottle all the time, and now it's seeping into the middle of the night. She wants a bottle. Angie just woke from her nap. Layla is stop. dressed up very beautifully. I am the cheese and um, pancake. Pancake queen. Yes, she has crowned herself cheese and pancakes. So when I went to go get her up from when she was napping, she got all kind of grumpy and everything, and it reminded me of something else that's funny about her. And Layla can attest to this. Sometimes we call her angry baby face. <laughs> Because when she gets upset, sometimes she's like this. Yeah, she'll do like this face, just and sometimes like Layla will come up and try to hug her or hold her hand, like see if she'll let you hold her hand. And Angie will get all angry Ready, over guys? it. Let's see, she might. <laughs> Poor Layla, she's just trying to love on her, and Angie loves her so much. But when she gets in her angry baby moods. But I'll have to try to show you guys. Her angry baby face is hilarious. And in fact, Layla, you just took a picture of you and Angie, like a little selfie. And half of Angie's face is cut off. And you can totally tell she's doing angry baby face. It is so funny. Okay. It's a little scary. Well, Layla is gone for the evening. She's back over at my parents' house to have dinner with them. So it's just Angie and I again. I've been getting a lot of quality time with Angie. Tomorrow night will be Layla and I's night, so I'm excited for that too. But I thought I would tell you guys some more about Angie. One thing is she is very communicative. She talks a lot and she's always communicating with us. What do you need? You don't like this show you're watching while mommy cooks dinner? It's just so funny how different your kids are. With Layla, she hardly said a word, but that's because she always had a binky in her mouth. And she doesn't have a binky, and she talks all the time. She has so many words, and it's just really funny. She's really good at talking and communicating to us. So that brings me to another funny difference between Layla and Angie. Layla's the oldest and she is like, anywhere we go out, anywhere somewhere new or just anywhere, she's like glued to my hip or to Brian's hip. She doesn't veer off, she's always with us, she's very cautious. Angie on the other hand, it's like, peace out, she's gone. She will doesn't even look back. We go out for walks, we go to a store. If you don't have her in her stroller, she is gone and booking it. And just no fear, no fear at all. Goes up to kids, wants to play, and she's just very social. And I think that's with her talking to. It's just so night and day between her and Layla that way. Right now, Angie just doesn't seem to be, I have a lot of energy right now. I don't know if she's tired or not feeling well, but it's been a busy day. So we're just sitting here watching one of her favorite shows. It's Steve, Steve and Maggie. She loves Steve and Maggie. And we're just kind of gonna have a chill night tonight. But, so I thought I would just go over some other little fun things about my Miss Angie Pie. One thing Angie also loves is shoes. She is obsessed with shoes. She always is trying them on, trying to put on Layla's shoes. She doesn't care if they don't fit, she wants them on. We were at a store the other day and she was obsessing over this one pair of shoes and wanted them on and they're like a size 10, she's a size five. But again, she didn't care. She didn't care that they're strapped together because we had a bottom. She's always putting shoes on, she loves them. Another thing, Angie loves her bun buns. They're these little bunnies that she carries around. We actually have three of them because we learned from our mistake with Layla. With Layla, she like grew attached to this one bunny that she calls Lovey and they don't make them anymore. You cannot find them anywhere. So if we lose that, we are in so much trouble because Layla still loves it. So when Angie started getting attached, I know that you're Bun Bun. When Angie started getting so attached to Bun Bun, we ordered two more so we'd have them. And now she carries two around usually at one. So that's kind of fun. So it's two we have to keep an eye on usually. Um, and then also she loves animals. Loves animals so much. She gets so excited anytime she sees a dog, um, just anything really, a bird. She loves them all. So I think eventually we're gonna have to get a dog because um, we love dogs too, but 
This little girl takes it to a new level. She gets so excited anytime she sees a little furry animal. But she is just such a fun girl and I love seeing her personality just starting to shine through. And it is also so much fun too to see the differences between like your two kids. They're just, they're so funny, they're so different, and I love it, and I love just watching them grow and seeing them evolve and changing. It's so much fun. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video all about our sweet little Angie Pie, and we'll see you all next time. I'm gonna get this girl to bed. She's exhausted. Bye, everyone. <laughs>